Warning, eating and living this way can make you feel good and give you lots of energy. Hey everybody, we're making Thai food today. Woohoo! It's the best tasting food in the world and yes, you can make raw food versions of it. Today's version is spicy Thai cabbage. Cabbage is one of the best cancer fighting foods on the planet and Thai food is the best tasting food so this is an amazing combination. I'm wearing my Thai clothes today, you like it? And the hat is actually an acknowledgement to a friend of mine, Barry Anderson, who wears a similar hat. Uh, he's a white guy, he moved to Thailand and he's having the time of his life. He's a raw foodist, he's a chef, he's showing people how to live this way and uh, he just, he moved to paradise and he's living for a fraction of what people in the modern world are killing themselves for. And this is so important to realize that your dreams, your fantasies don't cost a million dollars. That's why I wrote the book, The Prosperity Secret. And those of you who have not read this, you better start reading it because you will be amazed how easy it is to live in paradise for pennies. So Barry, I'm raising a coconut to you. Okay, calm down. So, here's what we need for today's recipe. We need cabbage, since this is spicy Thai cabbage. Cashews, no Thai recipes complete without cashews and raisins. I use the golden Hunza raisins. Doesn't matter as long as I like the golden raisins, they're, they're better. Celtic sea salt, I like the coarse kind. Scallions, cilantro, apple cider vinegar, some kind of sesame oil, either normal sesame or toasted sesame or a combination of the both. And nut butter, the best in the world is cashew butter made by Artisana, which is a company that I highly recommend you try to get uh, either at Whole Foods or get it online. This cashew butter is the best I have ever tasted anywhere, and I've been lots of places. Oh, and some hot, hot, hot chili oil. Can't have a Thai recipe without that. All right, let's get started here. In one corner, we have cilantro, the conqueror. In the other corner, we have the Italian scallion. Yo, Adrian. Let's get ready to mingle. Some people email me and say, why don't you get a better cutting board? You can afford it. Well, the thing I like about these plastic ones is they're bendable so you can like pour things, you know, like little pieces that can pour them into a little bowl rather than a hard, heavy thing. All right. Do I need to show you how to cut a cabbage? I guess I do, okay. See, this is why I like the flexible cutting board because you can do that. You can't do that with a hard one. This is only half a cabbage and look how much that makes. I don't know how people can starve in this world when one cabbage can make enough food for half a week. <laughs> it's the funny scallion people. Calm down Marcus, don't play with your food. You're a grown man. Oh. And now we add the cashews. Watch how I do this. Ready? Now we add the raisins. Watch how I do this. Ready? Woo! Now we do the sea salt. Oh, about that much. Oh, maybe about that much. Yeah, that's about as good. Now we do some apple cider vinegar. Oh, I don't know about that much. Looks about right. You can always add more later. Sesame oil. One way to make a sauce is to get your sesame oil, put some in there, and then get your cashew butter, the most awesome butter in the world. How much of it? I would say a lot. That's kind of my general um, terminology for making this. At least half a jar. Mix up the cashew butter with the sesame oil so it gets kind of runny, because that way it spreads better as a sauce. You can add a bit of the hot sauce at this point. And then later on, you can add a little more. This is gonna 
gonna be good. Ah, heck, this bowl is too small. <laughs> Now this is the part where you taste test and I usually add either a little more sea salt or a little more of the uh, hot chili oil because you really want that. If I could put this through the camera so you could taste this, you would be in heaven. I mean, this is this is right up there with chocolate. This is amazing. All I need is a beach and some raw food, babe, and a bikini. Woo! This is, I can't wait for you to try this. Wow. Check it out. You can leave this out all afternoon because there's nothing bad that spoils in it. I would suggest you eat it. Uh, pretty much that day. I mean, you can, you can put it in the fridge. It's just that if you put it in the fridge, the, the nut butter and the oils get kind of hard and it just, it's not really the same. But this, just fresh, anything is good fresh. You just gotta eat it right away. But I, I swear, if you have a big family, this is gonna be gone anyway within like the first 20 minutes. If you wanna go to a party and be a big hit, there you go. Once again, this is another recipe from my book, Heal Yourself 101, and it's on page 134, Spicy Thai Cabbage. This book is full of recipes that I'm sure those of you who bought the book haven't even tried yet because you just want to see me make it in person. Uh, you know, you've got the recipe. Make it. Don't wait for me to show you everything. I can't. I, don't, I have to live my own life. So, make this. And tell, oh, you're gonna, you are gonna, you are gonna, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to say it. It's, wow. Yo, Adrian, I'm gonna go have me some of that.